Hello guys, my name is Angel and today I'm going to be talking about in full depth between the transition the transition between Seabridge uh, and Highway all the way to layout just to get some renders so as you can see I got the head model I created it's like a Frankenstein kind of deal but um, I already uh, did my UV maps so I'm not going to go into that uh, I use UV Master very simple map and I just went to, uh, you know, texture map new from Polypane. After that, I went to my level subdivision level and I created a displacement map. And the next thing was creating a normal map. So now, once we got all that stuff, uh, we wanna, of course, hit the GoZ button. And after this, we're gonna have to uh, take it to to modeler. And right now, my modeler is empty. So let me create a new object just in case. And the one thing I'm going to do is uh, just create a box like that. And it's really slow. Hold on. Let me reclose this again. Let me open it up because it's just a little slow. We don't want that. So let's do this again. So there's modeler. Shift Z, go up. There's our box, and just select the entire mesh. Go to utilities, additional, and then we want to hit go Z update. If we hit go Z update mesh, it's gonna crash. So just hit go Z update, and automatically, it's going to load my uh, my face. Right now it's upside down. We can fix that, uh, but just trying to explain the process so we got this right now and you know everything transferred it it's just like the texture maps transferred well and next thing we want to make sure is that our displacement maps are here and our normal maps are here so before you used to have to uh, save this object in order to send it to layout you don't have to do that anymore just go right here send the object to layout and it's gonna pop it here it's gonna rotate it uh, 180 degrees and I usually work in a quad view so let me get my uh, my camera a little closer actually uh, and you see all these little squares right here that's, that's because uh, I haven't turned on smoothing so I'm just gonna turn on smoothing real quick and you see everything goes away and the next thing is uh, we wanna go to surface editor and you're gonna go to uh, to edit notes usually when you load this up the deformation maps are no layout won't read the deformation maps so as soon as you transfer something to layout just make sure you go to utilities additional and you go to the go z update um, plugin so just hit go z again and you're gonna see that our mesh actually change a little bit that's because our deformation maps are working now so now if you go to surface editor and then you go back to edit nodes you're gonna find that our own mapper right here and they're actually be affecting the mesh right now so inside or not editor under surface editor you're going to uh, find this image map and this normal map right here with the image map is going to be plugged into the subtract which we can play with so we can play with our displacement map any way we want and if we want to play with our normal maps just double click it and you can play with the amplitude so we're going to play a little bit with the displacement map and you know we're going to make sure it's what we want and it's the closest to our ZBrush model so that seems to be working fine uh, I'm just gonna show you that it's actually working I mean if I go all the way down it's gonna start moving start getting bigger and if we go the other way that's gonna happen we don't want that so I'm just gonna leave it to where I'm comfortable and just close this real quick normal maps we only gonna be able to see it if we go to BPR which I'm gonna do right now so a normal map seems to be 
a little bit too strong so I'm just going to lower it a little bit and I mean they seem to be working fine um, that was one of the hardest things before like getting the intent to actually work and a lot of people have a lot of trouble with it so so far it seems to be working fine all I'm gonna do right now is uh, just set up a, a basic lighting so it, it kinda looks like something and let me do that real quick let's go to light spotlight light number one very simple and just hit people properties and this is our first light that I don't know we don't I don't really work with this kind of lighting I usually use spotlights so this is our spotlight and let's see where we are with our spotlight <coughs> so what we want to do is just set up a nice basic lighting I mean just by hitting go Z our mesh is already um, set up just so we can work and we can get our renders done and if we, if we had to do animation and morphs um, I already did a video in which I explained how to make morphs um, so I mean it's production ready almost you can actually play with the with the <coughs> bump and with the cavity as well as occlusion uh, to get more uh, better renders, uh, more detail and stuff like that. But for now, it's just keep it simple, simple, just pixie renders, so you can see how the process is. And um, it's actually a pretty easy process. It's pretty straightforward. And um, New Tech did a pretty good job just um, with this Go Z button that just puts everything for you. It's just a little bit hard at the beginning because you don't know how the process really goes, but hopefully you can get a good hand of it from the videos that I did and it's really easy for you guys so you can just uh, jump into Seabrush I know a lot of people use especially people uh, um, that use Lightweight are a little intimidated by Seabrush because it's not an easy transition but uh, New Tech did a great job uh, making it a better transition now and there's a lot of happy people including myself so let me just I'm Brandon so I'm just going to so basic lighting just so you can see like and let me see real quick over here let's turn shadows off Light one, we don't need it, so let's turn off. Do it if we're going to, and let's see how that looks. BPR, it's actually, it's all, it came out in lightweight tank, and it's just great, 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 great feature. Um, we got some weird stuff going on here, but overall, it seems like the the bump is working. Everything seems to be working, and um, so let's, let's see how this works right here. We're gonna go well thanks for watching and I uh, uh, hope I can make more videos for you guys uh, well have a good one talk to you soon